Hey guys, let's talk about array transposition or transposing arrays uh, or matrices using Python and using NumPy. Let's go ahead and create a new notebook. Let's give it proper name. So array transpose or matrix transpose. And let's begin by importing NumPy as NP, the shortcut name, and let's create um, a new array. Let's say, for example, ARR equals NP dot array. Let's take it for the list. Three, three, some random number, really. And then I can say ARR dot, if I do tab, uh, T and I can see transpose. So because it's one dimensional array, uh, it's it's a vector, so one column or one row doesn't make a big difference really. Or I can use capital T as well. It gives me the same thing when the array uh, is one dimensional, right? But let's make a two dimensional array. So we can make this either a list of lists or let's probably uh, do the um, uh, the a range like that we learned last time maybe create 60 a range of 60 elements and then reshape it into um, something like 6 by 10 okay so AR our array now is a, a 2d array that has 6 rows and 10 columns now if we want to transpose it that means make the row columns and the columns rows make the rows columns and the column ro columns rows as you can see we have managed to do that uh, very easily right our dot t or dot transpose should give us the uh, the same result and by the way if we wanted to read the documentation the doc strings of a function i can do shift tab as you can see it appears here and then just increase the size returns a view of the array with axes transpose okay so just to transpose an array something we need usually when we do some uh, uh, array or matrix operations like for example doing dot products or things like that another interesting thing here is what if we have a three-dimensional array so um, if our array has 60 elements then we can say it's 6 by 5 by 2 notice the result of multiplying these numbers could equal the size of the already overall number of elements. Okay, so if we look at ARR now, then it's, uh, it's an array of arrays of arrays. It has six uh, arrays, so the, the first size of the first element is six, and then each arrays, array of these arrays has five small arrays, which have two elements each, so six by five by two. Now, if I wanted to transpose this, it can be tricky to imagine, but let's do it. Now what we have is what? Is an array that has two elements, so it's two, and each element has uh, one, two, three, four, five, so it's two by five, by one, two, three, four, five, six by six, so it's two by five by six. So going in the opposite direction, the resulting array now is two by five by six, right? I hope the idea makes sense when you transpose um, a three-dimensional matrix. In fact, we can uh, control it a little bit and tell it, okay, only swap the first and the second um, um, uh, axes and leave the third one, leave this two here alone. And we can do that by saying, okay, I want you to only swap the first and the second and to leave that alone, which means it will be an array of uh, six by five by two. So we'll have six, I'm sorry, it'll be five by six by two. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and each of them has six small arrays, one, two, three, four, five, six. Each small array has two elements, so it's five by six by two instead of six by five by two. Hope the idea makes sense. Let's stop here and I'll see you in the next video.